Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Charlie. I'm glad you're here. And today we're gonna talk a little bit more about college life and how to manage stress and stay motivated while being in college. I think everyone who goes to college can relate that college sometimes can be very stressful and it's hard to manage the stress and staying motivated. So without further talking, I think we just get right into the video. Understanding stress and its impact. First, let's talk about stress in general. It's important to first acknowledge that you are stressed and to figure out how stress affects you personally. For me, for example, I feel stress in the form of feeling overwhelmed, I start procrastinating and I start overthinking a lot. And that's how I know I'm stressed right now and I need to change something about that. Understanding the impact that stress has on you is crucial for noticing it, doing something about it, changing it. It can affect not only your mental health but also your physical health when you don't do anything about it and also your academical performance and that's something we want to talk about. The good news about all of that is that there are ways to manage it and there are ways that you can change the stress level. If you don't know me, I'm a dual student, so I'm working and going to college at the same time. Every week I have a 40 hour week. I have to perform good in college and good at work. So stress is a huge part of my life, especially of my college life. And to figure out what you can do and to figure out how you can handle the stress when it comes or even start working against it before it gets to the point where you are stressed is pretty crucial and pretty cool to know so that you don't get into a stressful phase. Tips for managing stress. Here are some tips that help me manage stress, especially for the college part. First thing, prioritize self-care. Self-care isn't just a buzzword um, throwing around, even though it sounds like one, but it's necessary. Make time for activities that relax you, that rejuvenate you, that don't have to do anything with college. You can read, you can meditate, you can take a walk, you can work out. Just find something that you can turn to as a kind of self-care. For me, for example, self-care also is taking off my makeup every night, reading 10 pages of a book that has nothing to do with college or work every night so that I can run down, see what helps me and take care of myself and my mind because when my mind is stressed I'm not working the way I need to work to get college and work things done properly. Another way of self-care is of course hanging out with your friends, going to parties, don't do that if you don't want to, but social time with my close friends always helps me getting rid of the stress, also because I can talk about it and that is Tip number two, talk about it. Don't bottle up your feelings. Talk to friends, families or counselors. Share your thoughts about the things that you do. Talk to your friends. See if they are feeling the same way because I, especially am a person, I stress a lot about little things that are not even worthy stressing about just because I get in my head a lot and try to figure out everything at it once. So as soon as I start talking about it with my friends, with my family, with everyone around me, I see I'm either not alone with that or there are things I can do to figure that out, change it around or just talking it out helps a lot so that you can share the stress kind of and see if there are people that can help you. Practice mindfulness. It's scientifically proven that mindfulness and meditation can significantly reduce stress. Even just five minutes a day can make a big difference. You can just sit down and meditate, kind of let your thoughts ramble through your head. What I like to do when I'm very very stressed is I have a dedicated stress notebook in which I write everything that I'm thinking at this exact moment so that it's out of my head, dumped somewhere else so I, that I kind of stop thinking about it. Or if it's things that I can't forget because that happens a lot as well that I'm like I can't forget that in the morning I can't forget that I write myself a message where I write hey you need to do this 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 and this in the morning don't forget it or just write a reminder on my phone something like that so that it's out of your mind and you have the silence kind of back in your head and you know you will remember it because you did something to remember it but it doesn't have to swirl around in your head the whole time and otherwise you can meditate you can 
can do yoga, something that shuts off your brain. And the last tip, I said it throughout the other tips, is staying active. Exercise is a fantastic stress reliever. It helps you gain dopamine. It's proven that running and going to the gym sets free dopamine. Um, and it also frees up your mind. As soon as you are in the gym or running, dancing, doing yoga, you shut off your brain and just concentrate on the things that you're doing while you're working out. Or you're going on a walk and just look around you, see what the animals are doing how pretty the forest is you're walking in, how the nature gives you back some energy. Basically find something you enjoy and make it a regular part of your routine. Go out once in a while. Basically what all these tips have in common is find something that you enjoy aside from college, aside from work, and make it a regular part of your routine. If it's going out with friends, talking with your family, working out, writing down what's going on in your mind, Reading. Everything that you do apart from college kind of helps you wind down a lot more and you also don't have the stress of focusing only on college all the time, getting overwhelmed, getting stressed. Trying to figure out how you get through all of the learning parts, the due dates. It helps with releasing some stress. You have the college experience once in a lifetime and you should enjoy at least some parts of it and don't get stressed out too much. And while we're here, I'm filming a how to stay organized and learn for college video next week so that you kind of can release the stress of that as well. Because as soon as you are organized, when it comes to due dates, presentations, exams, a whole lot of stress just goes away because you don't have to think about every due date you have every start of the week if you have planned it out and organized good. How to stay motivated. College can sometimes feel like a never-ending to-do list. You just get more on your plate every week. You feel like you run behind some of your to-do list things. But here's how you can keep on track and figure out what you need to do and when you need to do it. Set clear goals. It's not only a college thing, it's also a life thing. But for college especially, set short-term and long-term goals. Having clear objectives gives you something to work towards and keeps you focused. So basically, as soon as you say, I want to have the essay done by next week, you're working towards that and you have to set a long-term goal for I want to hand in the essay on this and this day. Or if we're thinking in a bigger picture, you set the short-term goal, I want to end this seminar or class with a B. And the long-term goal is I want to finish college because I want to do this and that with my life. As soon as you have figured out why you are going to college, what you're working towards, you're not gonna be motivated motivated all the time but you have something you know you're working for and you know you're working towards which helps you regaining your motivation. It basically just is a little reminder that you write down as soon as you start wondering I don't want to do this I'm so stressed all the time I hate it here and you see the goal you're working towards the motivation comes back most of the time I'm not saying that if you're so stressed out you can't do college you have to stay in college because college isn't for everyone but if you just stress yourself out a lot and you see only the bad side of college sometimes it helps to have a long-term goal so that you can have something you work towards. And also college is only a three-year thing. You can work through it. Break tasks into smaller steps. As I said, if you have an essay, you can break it down and say, I want to have five pages till Friday, and then I want to have 10 pages till Wednesday, and I want to be ready to reread it in two weeks. So then you have three goals you're working towards and you don't have to write the 15 pages in one sitting. You can break tasks into smaller manageable tasks that are less daunting. Plus, checking off each step gives you a sense of accomplishment and motivation. As soon as you have completed a smaller task, you know you can do it and it doesn't feel so heavy anymore. Breaking big tasks into smaller tasks 
make it feel more doable than having a to write a 15 page essay it feels like a lot but if you're saying i'm writing five pages e each week it feels very doable because five pages each week means you have two days where you don't have to do anything and one page for the work day kind of so it's a lot more doable than writing 15 pages in one day reward yourself rewarding yourself for a completed task is a great motivator it doesn't have to be anything huge it can also just be i'm getting my favorite snack i'm getting my favorite drink i watch one episode of my favorite series i get 15 minutes social media time as soon as you reward yourself for doing a task you're kind of doing it with more inspiration behind it and more motivation behind it because you know you get something afterwards it's kind of like tricking your brain into thinking okay when i do that and that i will get my 15 minute social media break i get my coke zero i get my iced coffee and that's something that motivates you besides getting the task done stay inspired Surround yourself with inspiration, whether it's motivational quotes, success stories, vision boards, your role models, your long-term goals. They can be a great source of encouragement when you're feeling down, not motivated at all. I, for example, do a vision board at every start of the year. I made a video on that, putting it in the eye. I think it's here. And I set it as my background on everything that I use for college. To see your motivation, seeing what you're working towards is a big productivity boost. And as soon as you see your goals, you want to work towards them. For example, I started college because I wanted to do one specific thing. I don't say it because I'm still not there yet and I don't want to jinx it. But I want to do one specific thing with my degree. I'm working in an agency now where I learn a lot and I'm already working towards my goal through that. But I always have my goal in mind. I know what I'm working for. I know what I'm working towards. I know know why I want to have the college degree and why I want to have the grade that I want to have when I'm done with my college degree. And that's all of my tips that I have on staying motivated in college and kind of relieve some stress. If I think about more tips, I write them down below in the description box, in the comments, or I make a series on my social medias out of it. If you want to hear more about that, you can comment down below. And I also love to hear what your tips for stress relief and motivation in college are. Comment them down below i love to read them and also we can support each other with that and learn from each other about how we best relieve our stress and stay motivated for college thank you so much for joining me in this video i hope these tips help you navigate to college with less stress and more motivation remember you're not alone and it's okay to take things one step at a time and it's also okay to feel stressed in college because it's a lot that you have to tackle in a short amount of time if you found this video helpful you can give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you like to don't forget to subscribe for more tips and stories about college life and beyond let me know in the comments what your tips for stress relief and motivation in college are thanks for watching and we see us next week with another video. Make someone stay One, this week. Two, and we see you. Bye. Okay.